the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you. Well, hello. I'm the Reverend Canon Lance Smith from Church of the Ascension in Windsor and the host of the Sunday morning devotional program, Reflection, on Your TV Windsor. I'd like to invite you this coming Sunday to join with me for a time of prayer and the study of Scripture and devotion to the Lord our God. At the beginning of this week's program, we'll reflect upon the world in which we live and the times that we find ourselves in. We will all probably be able to agree that they are volatile, chaotic, and unpredictable times. And yet, I'm going to share a reflection and a story that speaks to us about how we might all be able to make an impact in the world, that by modeling the love of God in our lives, we might be a positive force for change. From there, we will open up God's holy word and we will turn to the very end of the Pentateuch or the first five books of the Bible. And in that 34th chapter of the book of Deuteronomy, we shall read about the end of the calling and life of the prophet Moses. And God will share with him a vision of the promised land that he had led the people of Israel to, but would not enter into himself. And we'll consider what this says about the nature of God and God's relationship with his people. We'll think about it from a Christian perspective and what it means for us who likewise have a covenant with God. From there, we will move to St. Paul's epistle, his first epistle to the Thessalonians, and we'll read about some of the challenges that Paul and his companions experienced as they were exercising their ministry, as they were faithfully answering the call that God had placed on their hearts. And we'll think about what it's like for us in the midst of our own day and age as we experience some of the same challenges that St. Paul did. Finally, the gospel reading that we will focus on is from the 22nd chapter, the gospel according to St. Matthew. And there we will see yet another exchange between Jesus and the authorities of the day. And in their challenge to Jesus and in their questioning of him, Jesus will give to us a Coles Notes version of the gospel of how it is that we can take the commandments of God and write them in our hearts, how it is that we can be faithful followers of His and builders of the kingdom of God. We'll, of course, pray for the world in which we live, for the times in which we live, and for those who are in need of our prayers. And so I hope that you'll be able to find some time to join me this coming Lord's Day as we seek to walk a more faithful path with our Lord Jesus Christ. I hope to see you then, and until then, may God give you a good week. Mm -hmm.